Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you to Team Snap. Team Snap is an app that you can download directly to your phone that makes it easy to organize your team. You can check the information at the link down below. If you're looking for some baseball coaching tips to win more games with your team, then this video is gonna be for you. The first thing and probably the most important tip that I've got for you coaches out there is to establish a team goal in the very beginning of the season. Day one, you have to have a team goal that everyone is striving for. In fact, when I was in junior college, the first team meeting that we had, the coach wrote five numbers on the chalkboard and we were all looking, wondering what these numbers were, and it was the zip code to the town where the World Series was held for our college. And it was crazy because that year, we ended up going to the Junior College World Series. We all bought in early, we bought in on day one, and that was our main goal for the rest of the season. Everything that we did that year was going towards that goal, trying to get better to achieve that goal. So establishing that team goal on day one, is most important. The second baseball coaching tip to win more games is going to be to develop a routine for player growth and not just focus on winning. And I know this may be counterintuitive because of course this video is about winning more games, but if we're not trying to develop our players and make them better, we're not gonna win as many games because they're not gonna be reaching their full potential. If we can help them as coaches reach their full potential, we're gonna have a lot better chance of winning more games that season. So we need to have a strategy, we need to have a routine, we need to have a process or a method of developing our players. The third of the baseball coaching tips is to know our players. If we can understand our players and know how they work, then we're gonna be more successful on the baseball field. For instance, if we have a pitcher out there and we know that he gets tired pretty quickly, we know that we can pull him early. We need to have a short leash on him. Or if we know that there's a pitcher out there who can go through a small struggle and get through it and usually comes back better, then we might wanna leave him in through that situation. But the more that we understand our players, the better we're gonna be able to manage them and the more success we're gonna have on the field. So really try to get in tune with your players and understand what motivates them. Are they a guy that you need to really yell at and get, get into them to get the most out of them? Or are they someone that you need to be a little bit uh, softer with and, and motivate them instead of yelling at them? The point is that the more you can understand your players, the better you're gonna be able to manage your team and the more wins that you're gonna get because of that. The fourth baseball coaching tip to win more games is gonna to be to know your opponent's players or their strategies on the field because the better you know your opponents, the more success you're gonna have as well. Because if they have a catcher who doesn't have a great arm and you see this and you identify it and you know it, then you can uh, capitalize on stolen bases. You can have more guys steal more bases in that situation, you're putting guys into scoring position. Now you're gonna score more runs. And of course, scoring more runs is gonna lead to more victories. Also, if you know their pitcher struggles to pitch against left-handed hitters, maybe you stack your lineup with lefties as opposed to righties if you have that deep bench. The main point here is that the more you know about your opponents, the better you're gonna be prepared to go against them, to use all of your assets best against them. In return, you're gonna score more runs and win more baseball games. And the fifth, last baseball coaching tips for you guys who want to win more baseball games this season is going to be to promote a winning atmosphere. And that means getting your players into state before the game and then also creating that positive atmosphere after the game. Someone who pops into my head uh, when we're talking about this is Joe Madden. He does a great job. I know, especially when he was with Tampa, that after the games when the team would win, they would come into the locker room and it would be a party in there. And that just promotes more winning. Also before the games, he would have fun activities going on to keep his players loose and fresh and energized to be ready for the games. And he was a great coach and his team performed well, very well. Obviously you see what he did with the Cubs when he was there because he promotes this winning atmosphere. So have the idea to promote a winning atmosphere before the game to get your players into state, a state of energy and a state of mind. And then also that winning atmosphere after the game so that they strive to win because they want what's waiting for them after that ball game. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you know a team or wanna share this with your team, go ahead and share it with them. I'd appreciate it. 
Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click this logo, subscribe to my YouTube channel, then go watch this video because it's a great one. You're going to like it. And of course, don't forget to check out the Team Snap app at the link down below. Thanks for watching, guys.